Well, good evening. Welcome to Trojan Football. Again, the Trojans have traveled over the river and through the woods to Juniata tonight, uh, following last week's ball game right here at the same field against East Juniata. Tonight they take on the Indians of Juniata. Good football game should ensue tonight, we think, as both teams are hungry for another victory. Both are coming in here with identical 3-3 three and three records. So uh, we ought to have a good ball game upcoming here in just a few moments, waiting now for the Juniata Ball Club to take the field make their appearance on the field. It is showtime and Juliet is not here yet, but Fred assures me they're going to be here momentarily and uh, we know they're in the area. We've seen them practice uh, in the warm-ups, but they're not on the field yet, so uh, they'll be here in a couple of minutes. Field uh, looking uh, pretty well for considering the rain that we had today. The band didn't even come along on this trip because of the rain that we've had down in Upper Dolphin area, but up here just some light showers and uh, the only spot of mud that we can see in the whole field is right here in front of the Juniata bench. So, uh, field looking in pretty good shape considering and uh, should have a good ball game. Trojans will open up the ball game tonight with uh, sophomore Dan uh, Shell at the quarterback spot. The um, other quarterback who came into the game last week, of course, was Sean Herb, as we found out later on. And uh, Sean will be available if the need arises to uh, come in and do some quarterbacking himself. So the Trojans really hyped up for this ball club as they wait for Juniata to make their appearance. And the Indians are coming in now at the uh, east side of the ballpark. And so we'll be set to go in just a moment. As I said, the band did not come along tonight because of the inclement weather at Upper Dauphin. Uh, wouldn't have mattered a whole heck of a lot anyway, I guess, because it is Juniata's uh, homecoming. So the Indian band will perform at halftime and uh, the Trojan band would have done pregame, so that's uh, no big deal, I guess. Sparse crowd on hand, as you can see. Not many people up here following these Trojans this year. The Trojans with a three and three record have won three ball games in a row, and tonight they look to go ahead of the 500 mark for the first time in the year. And uh, we'll be set to go here in just one moment now as the Indians have made their appearance on the field and um, co captains will meet at midfield in just a moment and we'll have the toss of the coin for the opening kick. Bell, Kerwin, and Kreiser will be the co-captains for the Trojans tonight as they meet at center field area. And uh, we'll have the toss of the coin here in just a moment. The quarterback for uh, Juniata tonight is uh, Scott Clark. He's number 19 out there and uh, number 39 is uh, Weitzel. He will be one of the big ends. Otherwise, we don't have many of the uh, names of the Juniata Indians, but uh, we'll pick them up from the announcer who is blasting in our ears right behind us here as soon as the ball gets uh, ball game gets underway. The other co-captain out there is uh, Zelinski for UDA. He's the young lad on crutches. He was injured, I think, in about game two. And uh, he's out there observing the toss of the coin, and we'll see who has won this toss in just one second here. The referee talking to them. Going to position the boys now. It looks as though the Trojans have won the toss and they will receive the opening kickoff. So the Trojans will go on offense to begin the ball game and we'll be back with the opening kick in just one second. I'm going to say hello tonight to uh, Barry Esterline who is recuperating at home and uh, we'll get to see this ball game a little later on. And uh, Barry, we hope you the very wish you the very best. And uh, we know Barry's a big UDA football uh, fan, as well as a policeman down at the football games uh, in years past. And uh, we hope that uh, he gets a game here to watch that's enjoyable. <clears throat> Kiter and Lanker back deep. Good to see uh, Lanker back into the ball game. He was injured slightly, I guess, uh, last week up here. Didn't play a lot of the ball game against the East Juniata Tigers, but tonight he is starting and he will be running this kick back tonight along with Bobby Kiter. This kicker, if he's the same guy that was practicing, and it is, uh, this kid can really kick. Got a long leg here on this uh, Juniata Indian, and here comes the opening kick. And it's a nice kick. Going to be taken at about the 15-yard line. This is... Uh, 
Bobby Kiter, and Kiter runs it back to the 35-yard line. Good run back by Bob. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans right at the 35-yard line. So good field position for the Trojans to start out play. <clears throat> Danny Shell is the QB. He'll set him up in there. He'll have uh, Kiter and... Uh, Roy Mauer, or, uh, Mike Bowery in the uh, backfield back there. Mowry had a good game last week against the EJ Tigers. And we'll see if he can continue that tonight against these Indians. Here's the pitch over here for uh, Kiter. And Kiter tripped up in the backfield as number 23 come in there and make a good hit on Bobby. Dropped him for a loss of about two. It'll be second down and 12. Corey Snook making the big stop that time for the Indians, well, so it'll be a second down and 12. Flankers out on both sides, this time for UDA. Miller on the near side. Quarterback's going back to pass. Danny Shell's got some time. Dumps one over the middle. He's got a man out here, but the ball is complete. I think caught by, let's see, how are they going to rule it? I believe it was caught by both number 19. That's at Clark, and also... Uh, Number 40, Stone Road. So Matt Stone Road making a heck of a catch that time as the ball tipped up in the air and uh, Stone Road came down with it. So a fine catch that time by Matt Stone Road. Ball at the 48 yard line of the Indians, first and 10. First pass, a completion of sorts. Time called, now the official calls timeout. We have a problem back here, maybe with uh, something on the field or they're looking for something. I'm not sure what, there they found it. Okay, Stone Road had lost his mouthpiece, and we're ready to go. First and 10 from the 48 of Juniata. Going up the middle this time for maybe a yard is uh, Mike Mowry. Mike picks up one, it'll be second down and nine. <clears throat> Mike not having any luck that time. Stopped right at about the line of scrimmage by Hart. And we need to get some offensive line play in there now to help these guys get loose. Cassidy is the center. Brent Bell in there also. Let's see how we can do this time. Okay, he's going to roll around the left side. Pass one, dumps one over the middle. It's complete. Stone Road has the pass. And then the ball's going to go out of bounds on the far side. Be recovered over there by the Indians, I think. Or did it just roll out of bounds? What is it? Been no indication yet. I'm not sure whose ball it is. Incomplete. You're going to roll the pass. Incomplete. Stone Road had a hand on it. Looked for a moment there as though Matt had a ha uh, had a caught it. Had caught it. But uh, we'll bring up a third and nine. Rules an incompletion. And we'll see what we can do on a big third and nine play. Now the ball at the 47 yard line of the uh, Indians. <clears throat> Stay back a little bit here and see if they're going to pass one. Shell's going to go back to pass. He's looking, finding one man open out there, but it's going to be incomplete or complete. Now I'm not sure. I guess he caught it. Ball bounced off someone. 31 picked it off for the Indians, and so it'll be first and 10 for the uh, Indians of Juniata here as the man makes the interception out here at the 25-yard line. Make it the 24-yard line, first and 10, Juniata. First and 10 on the 24. Clark at the quarterback spot. He'll hand it off. Going over the left or the right side there is number 41. Tripped up almost immediately in there by a couple of Trojans. Looks like uh, Mike Mowry might have made the stop for UDA. Not much gain on that play. Gain of about a yard. It'll be uh, second down and... Uh, oh, well, he did pick up two. It'll be second and eight. Mowry plays a good defensive back position. Played well last week, also did Mike. Looking for a big game out of him tonight. We're going to need it. Motion over in the far side. Snook, handoff, however, coming over this way. 41 again with it. Gets into the secondary where he's finally stopped out there by number four, or 10, uh, Rob Shell. Coming up to make the stop for... Right down UDA, the gain of about six. Right It'll be third down and three. Ball at the 32. Third and about three. 
Snook in motion. Clark going back to pass. Drops one over on this side. It is incomplete. Closest man to it. Robbie Clark Shell, but it goes as an incompletion. It'll bring up a fourth down and about three. And so the Trojans defense plays well that time and should get the ball back. Sending back uh, Kiter and uh, Eric Troop. Troop on the far side of the field. Kiter on the near side of the field for UDA tonight. We'll see how they do on this return. This kid also punts and punts well, they tell me. Here's his punt. Oh, a booming high punt. Going to drive Kiter back here. And nope, Bobby's going to let it bounce. And it's going to roll laterally here and be dead at about the 24-yard line, something like that. It'll be first and 10 for the Trojans on their own 24. Okay, first and 10 from the 23 of Upper Dauphin. Handoff and coming up this way is Mike Mowry again, and Mike uh, not getting a whole lot out of that one. Got it to the 30 or to the 25 yard line, gain of maybe two. Be second down and. Uh, 33, Mike Mowry on the carry. Let's see, gained about two, be second and eight. <clears throat> well, Mike got a little more that time than he got the last time. About a yard more. And uh, we'll bring up a second and eight. Ball now right about the 25 yard line. Motion goes Lanker. Pass looking for Lanker. Dumps one over there. It is in and out of the hands of Denny Lanker. Incomplete. We'll bring up a third down and uh, eight. Third and eight from the 25. Coming over this way is Richie Kerwin this time. Back to pass goes Shell. He's going to drop one off here. And it is incomplete as knocking it down out there is number 61. It was intended for Lanker. Shell's pass intended for number 20. And uh, uh, that'll bring up a fourth down and eight. Barry Beward. And Barry Beward makes a good nine. defensive play for the Juniata uh, Indians. And that'll cause the Trojans to punt. And uh, this time it will be Jared Kreiser stepping back to his 15-yard line. He'll step up to to make this punt. Yeah, he gets a good snap. A uh, low kick. Bounds around out here. It's going to be whistled dead at about the 48-yard line. So it'll be first and 10 as uh, Andy Miller picks it up for the Trojans at the 28. Jared Kreiser's punt rolls down. Or 48, check that. It'll be first and 10, Juniata. First and 10 as they play right out here in front of us now. Clark lines them up at the 48-yard line. Hand off to the number 20-something or other here. 24. He takes the ball ahead for about three or four. Second down and uh, a long six. Gain of nearly four in the last play. It'll be second down and uh, about six. Pass over the middle. He dumps it. It is complete to number 39, Witzel. And Witzel's got it down to the Trojan 34-yard line. And Weitzel picks up the first down on the completion. And uh, they've got the ball at the 34-yard line. First and 10, Juniata. Trojan defense played very well last week against EJ. It'll be a different story this week, perhaps. Here's 41, turning it upfield. And he's stopped in there as he's tripped up nicely, slowed down by a couple of Trojans. Uh, Kerwin coming up there to make the stop, along with a few other fellows, Kim Ladenschlager among them. It'll be a gain of one, so it'll be second down and nine. Second and nine from about the 33. Clark hiding it, rolling left, passing it downfield. Got a man out there, but it is slightly overthrown. Intended for number 33. Defending on the play was Sean uh, Herb. But at any rate, goes as an incompletion. He overthrew Herb in uh, number 33, Hedge. And it'll bring up a third down and uh, nine. On a third and nine from the 33. Motion goes Snook over on the far side. 
Clark going to hand it off and going up the middle and getting not much, maybe a yard. And goes uh, 41, Dana Baker, 41, Dana Baker. Baker, and he didn't get much ben as he Clark ran into several 41. Trojans. Kreiser making the stop as he come up uh, from his linebacker nine. spot, made the big crunch on him. It'll be fourth and nine. We've got uh, four minutes and 55 seconds remaining here in a scoreless first period. Both teams with identical three and three records. Quarterback Clark's going to roll over this side. He's going to fire one downfield incomplete, intended out there for number 44. Clark's pass. But he Kettner fires it right by him, and uh, Kepner Kettner can't make the reception Kettner. on that pass, and so the Trojans will take over now at the 30. Three, or let's see where they're going to mark it here. A 31 yard line. First and uh, 10. Okay, first and 10 for the Trojans. They get the ball back on downs and uh, see what we can do with it. Here's a handoff, and tripping in the backfield is number 30, uh, Jaeger. Steve in the ball game now, and Steve's on the wet, slippery grass, just kind of. Steve Lost his footing that time, and so it'll bring up Number a 30. second down and uh, 12. Loss of two as the ball is spotted back now about the 20. Uh, check that, yeah, about the 29 yard line. So it'll be second and 12. <clears throat> Danny Shell, quarterback, sophomore. He'll hand it off. Coming up the middle here now is Bobby Kiter, and Bobby skips for a yard or two out to about the 32 yard line. Be a gain of about four on the three on the play. It'll be bring up a third and nine. Ball carry number thirty. Kiter uh, looked like he uh, looking for a few more yards that time. Got kind of tripped up in there and gained another yard or two as he had lost his balance, but struggled ahead for a yard or so. Oh, well, if Bob can get loose, both teams not doing a heck of a lot on offense. Okay, here comes uh, Jaeger and Steve cutting it up the left side, gets it out there for nearly the fact he does get the first down. Good run that time by Steve Jaeger as he picks up the first down for the Trojans. Number 30. Steve looking very good on that run around the left side. And he picked up about 10 yards and it's first and 10 now for the Trojans at the 43 yard line. First and 10 right there at the Trojan 43. Their own 43 yard line. Handoff going up the middle with it now is, let's see, is that Jaeger again? Not sure. Um, no, this time it's going to be Roy or Mike Mowry. Mike gets about nearly four on that carry, so Mike's uh, yardage gaining with every effort. Picked up nearly four, and we'll call it second down and six. Jaeger. Kiter, uh, Kiter, this is Bobby coming on the near side. Here comes a pass over here for Kiter. He's got it. Spins, no, cannot spin away as a fine tackle out here by number 23, Snook. Comes up and makes the stop, Bobby and Kiter. Bobby was alone there, had one man to fight off, and he hung on there very, very well. Number 23, Corey Snook, Corey Snook uh, would not let uh, Kiter loose that time, dropped him for. A loss of a yard or two. It'll be third down third and about eight or nine. Line. So he did lose about two or three on that pass line. completion. Again, the uh, offenses and the defenses playing tough. Here comes Shell, and he cannot get the ball off. He's, he's going to be sacked in the backfield. 33 and 61 combining and on the Shell. stop. Matt and that's going to bring up a fourth three. down yeah. and about 13. And that will cause the Trojans Pick to kick that ball away again. The as the Trojans, again, unable to keep anything sustained uh, alive here. And they'll give the ball up. Kaiser, or Kreiser, rather, comes into the ball back game to, to punt. To punt He'll be back at the 27-yard line, step up to the 30 to make the punt. Oh, he gets an excellent snap. And a low kick. Going to bound around out here and be picked up. At the 32, and then he's tackled out there almost immediately as coming up to make the stop on him is uh, Miller, Jeff Jeff Miller, along with uh, number 52 in there for 
UDA. First and 10 for the Indians with a minute and 18 seconds remaining. Okay, first and 10, Clark will put him in motion. And if the far side goes that number 24, he's got a couple of yards. As he dives out to the 37 yard line, picked up about three or four on the play. Make it four, it'll be a second down and six. Mark Daniels, the, number, the uh, 52 that I couldn't uh, think of his name uh, a minute ago on the punt coverage. Anyway, here's a pitch back over there to Snook. Snook's gonna travel around the right side and he is dumped after gaining the first down as he gets out to the 44 yard line or 45 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Juniata Indians on their own 45. First and 10 for the red-shirted Juniata Indians on their own 45. Corey Snook in motion on the right side. Clark going back to pass. He's looking. Dumps one over here to that number 24. Side steps one tackler, but cannot get away from uh, Jared Kreiser as Kreiser and Mark's Robbie back. Shell come up to put the stops on him. And that ended the first uh, quarter. So no score and a tough ball Kreiser. game here. And defenses both playing tough. Offenses not getting anything going. And at the end of one period, we have no score. Second period coming up in just a moment. They'll move the ball about six yards, and that'll do it. At the end of the first quarter, we'll be back in a moment with the zero, second quarter. Juniata zero. Okay, second down and eight as we begin the uh, second quarter from the 47. Here's 24 spinning ahead here. Gets loose from a couple of tackles and nearly gets the first down. It depends on the spot here, and uh, that spot there looks like it will give them a first down, and it does. So the Indians on a march now at the Trojan 45-yard line. It is first and 10, and the Indians again in uh, Trojan territory. They had been in Trojan territory once before, and now they're in there again. So the Trojan defense uh, has to... Tighten up here, Thor Keck, 62, the defensive end on the near side of the field. And let's see now, this is going to be the Kecker in there making the stop that time as Thor comes up, grabbed him right by the leg and stopped that number 24 before he could get too much. Gained uh, about two or three. And uh, it'll be second down and seven. Bixler in there also to make the stop for UDA, they say. The kicker there making a stop. We watched him go in there from his end position. Richie Kerwin out here looking to dive in there and grab somebody. Here comes Snook in motion on this side. Clark hands it off. Over there goes that 41. He spins ahead where uh, Danny Wirtz along with Keck again in there on the stop. And uh, Panabaker gains about four more. It'll be third down and two. Danny Wirtz. Danny Wirtz in there for the first time tonight, making a good stop that I recognize, Dan, anyway. Here bring up a third down and three. Anyway, third down and a short three. Thor trying to inspire his boys on defense out here. Got Jeff Gutoweski right there in the middle of that uh, pile. Here's a handoff and 24, wow, stopped a fella head. Probably got the, oh, he did get the first down as he went across the 30 to the 29-yard line. So Marshall carries for another first down. And the Indians on a definite march now. And Trojan's going to have to dig in. Ball on the upper dolphin, 33. Okay, the ball's at the UD 33. Pitch over this way comes Snook with it. Trying to turn the right side here now. Gains a couple of yards down to the 27-yard line. Gain of uh, about four. Forced out of balance by number 32. Let's see where they spot it. They're going to spot it on the 27. It will be a gain of five, second and five. Clock stop momentarily for the out of bounds play with 10.02 remaining here in a scoreless first half. But the Indians very definitely on a threatening march here. Now here comes 41 on the reverse. He runs into. A uh, couple of Trojans, Danny Wirtz in there, helping to make the stop. Keck is in there. So is uh, Maury and Clark Kreiser. Off number 41, uh, good Baker. stop that time. Not too much on that play. Clark and uh, let's see. Maury for the Trojans. In fact, uh, might have gained a yard. Gain the third, third and four. Well, oh, the Trojans faced with a big one now as the 
Indians have driven it down to the Trojan 26-yard line. And here's the quarterback, Clark, looking over on the left side. He throws one over there. It's incomplete, intended for Marshall. And uh, it's over Marshall's hands, and so it'll be uh, incomplete. Denny Lanker over there covering for the Trojans, but it'll bring up a fourth and four. And the Indians, of course, will go for it. They're on the Trojan 26-yard line or 27-yard line. Fourth down and four. Fourth and four. Can the Trojans dig in here and stop this one? Let's find out. Snook in motion over on the left side. Quarterback's looking for Snook, dumps it down on the far side, and it is incomplete off the fingertips of Snook. Covering out there was Jeff Miller, but boy, Corey was well behind Jeff. Jeff, you got to watch those. <laughs> anyway, uh, fortunately overthrown, and uh, that'll give the Trojans a ball back on their own 27. So the Trojan defense has... Uh, Withstand, uh, withstood that test, and uh, once again, the Trojans will try to get it out of here now. They're getting deeper and deeper into their own territory, so we need uh, some good offense this time. This is Kiter running around the right side. Bobby steps ahead for a couple of yards out to the 28-yard line. Might have picked up uh, two or so. And it'll bring up a second down and eight. Hart making the stop for the Juniata Indians. And uh, Trojans need a little bit more than that. Phillips in there, number 60 for the Trojans. Cassidy is the uh, center. Danny Shell, the quarterback. Dan looking to pass one. Drops one over here for Bobby Kiter. Kiter's got it. Spins away from one tackler and then dives ahead to the 37-yard line. Nice play by Bob. Gaining almost enough for the first down. They'll stop it and look at it. Bobby Kiter. And it's going to be a first down. So a nice play that time as Bobby spun ahead after the initial hit and got an extra yard or two and enough, just, just enough to uh, give the Trojans a first down. Andy Miller checking into the ball game with the play from the coaching staff on the sidelines. And we'll see what Dan can do with it. He has Maori as the deep set back this time for the Trojans. maori has got the football and nice run that time as Mike gets it out here to the 40 uh, yard line. Nice gain on the play, probably picked up four or five. Good run that time by Mike Maori. And uh, that will be good for six, and it'll bring up a second down and four. Now, the announcer here announced that as Adam Arts. I believe it's Mike Maury. Gosh, I hope it's Mike. Not that I don't want it to be Adam, but I don't want to misname him. I think it's Mike Maury. Uh-oh, quarterback keeps it and runs it ahead here now as Dan looked like he might have... Mishandled the snap or something didn't seem right on that. But anyway, Dan marches it ahead for about three or four. And it'll bring up a three or a third and uh, third and one, make it. All right. Good play that time on what looked like uh, kind of a messed up affair to begin with. But Danny ran it ahead and nearly got the first down. Brings up a third and one. And this time it's going to be nothing doing as... Uh, Tripped up almost immediately in there is uh, Mike Maury. Mike unable to do anything with that to gain the first down. Matter of fact, lost a yard or so to bring up fourth down and a long two. And the Trojans will be forced to punt again as Kreiser straps on the helmet. Comes into the lineup to get ready to punt this ball away. And so Jared will be punting from back here at his own 28-yard line. Or make it the 32-yard line, and Trojans now going to call timeout. Time UDA out going to call time as they're going to send an extra player in. I think maybe uh, Cassidy was missing, and we needed an extra player. So they spend a timeout here with uh, 6.40 remaining in the first half. There is no score. Trojans with a fourth and three. Okay, UDA's timeout is over, and so they're going to punt it away here now and see if Kreiser can get a good snap. He had some excellent ones in the past. Oh, nice snap. Jared will handle this, and he gets a punt away. It's a spiraling punt taken out here at the 20, and moving ahead maybe for a yard or two goes this young runner as uh, he is run into out there by any number of tacklers. 
And it will be first and 10 for Juniata from the Juniata 24. Andy Miller, Jeff Miller, and Mark Daniels in there making a stop on the uh, punt return. Clark hands it off here, and Snook is going to be attacked right at the line of scrimmage, maybe gained a yard, not much more than that. As uh, number 62, the Kecker, comes up to make a uh, stop along with several other Trojans, and uh, Thor, Thor's uh, really influential, I believe, in getting Thor, these guys Kek. up because the Keck is very emotional out there. Second out of nine, Indians. lets them know when he's made the stop and uh, encouraging his partners to come in there and help out, and they've been doing that for pretty well tonight. It's a gain of one. It'll be second down and nine. Here comes Clark to pass. Fires one over on the left side. It's overthrown. Ooh, out of the hands of Robbie Shell. Robbie had an opportunity to pick that one off. And <laughs> Rob thinks he should have. Hey, Rob, that was close, but uh, what the heck. Uh, incomplete again. And Rob, with that great length and height of his, almost stretched out and picked that one off, but just not quite. Sean Herb and Richie Kerwin coming into the ball game for the Trojans. Chuck uh, Zerby going out. Someone else uh, returned uh, to the bench for UDA. On this big third down and nine, now we assume he's going to pass. No, he's not. Pitches one over here now, and 41 runs into a pile and is thrown backwards as Maori comes up to make the stop on him along with, uh, let's see, who was the other guy here? Oh, Bobby Kiter. And Bob's happy about that stop. And Pennebaker. Um, and Pennebaker. Got a yard or so out of that. will be fourth down. The Kecker given credit for that stop also. It's a big pile up in there. But you can see Keck out of here. <laughs> Thor's a good kick. And uh, he's back here looking to uh, rush the punter this time, I guess. And here's the uh, kick. High kick. Not much chance for a return on this one. It's going to bounce down here and be downed at the 48-yard line of UDA. So the Trojans with some excellent Michael field position now. Got four minutes and 48 seconds Trojans remaining here in the first today. half, and UDA with the ball on their own 48. That's a fine position to start out in. We'll see if we can get it going. If Dan can get something going. He's got Richie Kerwin to work with out here now as one of the uh, running backs. And uh, it's, it's going to be Maori and Mike trying to struggle to get away. Somebody's got him by the arm. Somebody had Mike's left uh, sleeve out there, would not let him go. And so it will be uh, a loss of a yard in the play. It'll be second down and 11. Mike had time struggling for all he was worth to get loose from that uh, guy that had a hold of his jersey. <laughs> Mike's going to be an advocate of tearaway jerseys following that one. Anyway, Danny will put it in play at about the 47. Back to pass goes Dan Shell. He's looking. Now he's going to run around the right side with it. Tucks it away. Can he get a couple of yards? Well, uh, he did. Got a, about two or three. It'll bring up a third down and about eight. Dan run out of bounds at the midfield stripe. So they'll set it right on the 50-yard line. And uh, that's going to bring up a third and eight for the Trojans. Dan scrambling. I think it was supposed to be a pass play, I imagine. As Miller goes out of the ball game as Stone Road checks back in here for the Trojans. And on a third and uh, eight. Shell going to pass it off. He dumps one over the middle here. It is going to be intercepted. The ball lost again, and it's going to be incomplete. A couple of uh, Indians out there to make that uh, interception, but it goes as an incompletion as they knocked it out of each other's hands. The intended receiver is Maori. Maori had no chance to catch that one as it was dumped right to the uh, Indians, but Incomplete, and the Trojans dodge a bullet there, perhaps. It'll bring up a fourth down, and uh, Kreiser will be called upon to punt again. This time he'll be at his own 38-yard line when he gets this one off. He'll step up to the 40. Good centering snap. 
And another low spiraling kick taken back here at the 18. He's at the 20, and a good tackle made in there on him by number 28, Andy Miller, I believe it was. Yeah, Andy coming up there to make the stop for the Trojans. Captain Brock, the number 28. Indians will put it in place on the 21-yard line, first and 10. Two minutes, 57 seconds remaining here in the uh, first half. No score. First and 10 for the Indians. Motion over there goes Snook. Back to pass goes Clark. He's going to drop straight back this time. Looking over the middle. Fires one down here. Incomplete intended for Snook, who had circled out over the left side that time and cut back up over the middle. But uh, Clark's pass incomplete as he throws it low in front of Snook. Snook had no opportunity to catch that one. It'll go as an incompletion. And it'll be second and ten. Okay, on a second and ten. Again, Snook in motion over on the left side. Clark's going to hand it off this time. 41's got it, and he dives ahead for a yard or two out to the 23-yard line. Richie Kerwin apparently in on that stop as Rich uh, Clark's celebrates. Off 41, Shane and uh, Pettibaker gets three or Clark two. Number 41, Jared Kreiser. Third down and a long seven, we'll third call it. Third down and eight Indians. Maybe eight. Ball about the 23-yard line. Stay back here a little bit this time, just in case he elects to pass on a big third and eight. And nope, going to hand it off, and this time it's going to be that number 44 over there as uh, Wirtz and uh, Lanker, Ladenschlager, all coming up there to make the stop for the Trojans, and they're going to give the ball back now as it brings up a fourth and six. 24 Marshall. And the, on the Indians will punt. Dennis Laker. Fourth down and five, Juniata. Number so, 15, Darren Weitzel back the to play. play goes back and forth tonight for sure. Here's a good snap and a kick. Oh, high. Nice kick. Fair catch signaled for and made over there by uh, Bobby Kiter at the 43 yard line. It'll be first and 10 now for UDA on their own 43. And. Uh, Trojans will have a minute and 18 remaining here in a scoreless first half to work with as they send in uh, Danny Shell with the signal from the bench and we'll see what kind of a uh, thing they have called here. We need a break one. And coming over this way and going nowhere is uh, number 20, uh, Lanker. Denny unable to gain any ground on that one. Lost about two. It'll be second and 12. Met by number 39, John White. Trojans just having all kinds of problems trying to get the offense on track the whole year. But we're in a nothing nothing ball game. Uh, first score of the ball game tonight. I think it will be very, very big as both teams struggle on offense and both defenses playing well. Here's a handoff, and this time it's going to be Mike Mowry, and he is tripped up in the backfield. Or was it Bobby Kiter? Let's see. I think it was Mike. At any rate... Uh, Shaw hands off the ball, number 33, Mike Mowry. Yeah, Mike uh, gained uh, nothing. Matter of fact, lost a yard. It'll be third down and 13. Loss on the play brings up third and, down. And uh, the Trojans now going in reverse momentarily with 13 seconds, probably the last play of the half. Throw one deep. Nope, Shell's going to hand it off. Going around the right side over there is, was that 22? And anyway, no, 32, Kiter. And Bobby gains a couple of yards out to the 45-yard line, 47-yard line, but that's going to do it. And we've got a scoreless first half here now here at Juniata Stadium tonight, 0-0 at the end of half the game. Hmm, what do you think of that? We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. Well, the combatants have returned to the ball field, and uh, we have Bell, Kreiser, and uh, Kerwin out there representing the Trojans, along with uh, the hobbling uh, Zielinski. And we'll be set to go as the Trojans will give the ball to the uh, Indians to begin the second half. And we'll be back with that kickoff in just one second. Trojans need to get a little bit of offense now. We need some score here. We're in a nothing-nothing ball game with half of the ball game shot to heck already. 
And so we need to uh, get a little bit of offense going as soon as we get our hands on the ball. Defense, first of all, has the job of stopping these uh, Indians and trying to get the ball back as quickly as we can. So we'll see what happens here in just a moment. Okay, set to kick off for the Trojans is Milo, I believe, 44. Anyway, here it comes. Nope, wait a minute. False start. False start. Yeah, I think this is our, uh, no, I think this might be our exchange student. Anyway, here we go, and uh, let's see. Kick, nice kick, taken at the 20, loses the football, and he's going to fall on it out here. Snook had missed the football, but it rolled ahead to the 30-yard line. And uh, that's where it will be put in play. Snook had the ball come loose. It bounced off his chest at about the 20-yard line, bounced ahead to the 29, and it'll be first and 10 now on the 29-yard line for the Juniata First and 10 Indians on their own 34 yard line. Could have been Rick Gilbert. Okay, it might have been Rich Gilbert kicking off, not sure. Anyway, over on the left side goes uh, Snook, I believe. No, 24 Mitchell. And he gets himself a couple of yards out to the 34 almost. Picked up five just about. Be second down and almost five about. Big run that time for Mitchell. And uh, we'll try this again. Clark pitches it back over here now, and this is Snook. And Snook still on his feet. He eludes a tackler upfield. And Snook. finally, uh, Brought down by number 70. 70, Danny Wirtz coming Dan up to Wirtz. make the stop. But big uh, gain that time and a first down for the Indians. The ball will be spotted just inside the 40 here. And about the, uh, I guess they call it 41 on television. So whatever. It's not at the 40. It's closer to the 41. Clark hands it off, going up the middle for a couple of more yards as he crosses the 45 to the 46-yard line, goes um, number 37, and that's going to make it a second down and five now as the Trojan defense has to tighten it up up the middle. They're kind of running over some folks in there now, so we'll try to tighten up that area. Clark hands it off back here to Snook. Snook for a couple of yards as he dives to the 49-yard line of Upper Dolphin for a first down, or darn close to it anyway. I believe it is a first down. It'll be first and 10 as Thor Keck in there making a stop for the Trojans, but another first down. So the Trojans now have allowed three consecutive first downs here on this drive. we got to put a stop to it right now. Clark hands it off. Going up the middle. Number 24. Boy, he's got some yardage as he gains another first down down to the Trojan 38-yard line. 24, Doug Marshall, Marshall stop finally made in there by Robbie Shell. And uh, let's see. Robbie there's the Schell. other fella here on the ground, and this young fella is injured. And uh, we'll be back here in just one moment after this injury timeout. It'll be first and 10 for the Indians when we return. Thor Keck was the man shaken up on the play, but Thor ran off on his own power, so he's going to be okay. Here's a handoff, 31 and a good hit in there that time as the Trojans come up with a big defensive play. It's number 41, Kreiser, with a low tackle out there. A couple assists there for Stone Road and uh, Maori, but uh, Kreiser with the initial hit, and a good stop it was by Jared. And we got a shaken up uh, Indian on that play. Loss of two on the play. It'll be second down and 12, and uh, timeout called now for another injury. Timeout this time. It's a Indian who is down. We got 9.49 remaining in the third, still scoreless. Super play that time by that Jared Kreiser. Really come up and made a stop, and that was the kind of a stop that we needed. Okay, the young uh, Indian is okay. He'll be back. Pitch in the meantime is back here for Snook, and Snook ahead for a couple of yards into the grasp of Maori and uh, Kiter. And uh, he picks up about four on the play, and will bring up a third down and eight. Good play that time by Mike Maori along with... Uh, Gain brings up a Kreiser, third down and eight. Or Kiter, I beg your pardon. And uh, brings a third and eight now. So the drive that the Indians oh, had rolling ball. along Three here pretty well uh, stymied that uh, on that big tackle by Jared Kreiser two plays ago. So we'll see if they can hold them on this one. 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold everything. Looks as though Danny uh, I think <laughs> I think Danny Kerwin might have been a little over anxious that time and uh, there's a five yard penalty call. The penalty will be for offsides, I guess. And uh, it'll bring up a third down and uh, about three. Huh? Yeah, first flag, that was, that's right. First flag of the ball game. First flag and we're into eight minutes and some seconds remaining here in the half. And oh, here's a great third down play. It was a third and three. A man coming up there to make the stop is um, getting, okay, Danny Wirtz. Boy, old Dan would not allow anything going there. And it'll bring up a fourth down and two. So the Trojans will really have to uh, dig in there. Kreiser and Wirtz teaming up to make that stop. It's a fourth and two and the ball right now at the 30 yard line or perhaps a 25, can't tell. Anyway, on a third and two, 24, spins ahead, and I believe he's got the first down. He went over that uh, middle of the line almost, and uh, looks like he's got the first, although it's awfully close. An official will eyeball it here, and in fact, they're gonna call time and uh, measure this one. It's pretty close. From here, it would look as though he's got it by about a foot, maybe, but uh, they're gonna measure it, and we'll see. 8-18 remaining here in the uh, third quarter. And this would be a big measurement, but I believe they've got the first down. <clears throat> we'll see. It is a first down by about two feet, really. You can see it from here. So uh, first and 10. Now the Trojans have really got to dig in. The ball is on the 25, 27-yard line. On the upper dolphin, 27. And uh, boy, if the Trojans ever needed some big defense, now is the time. They've played well here lately, making some good stops. Pitch back over here for that Snook, and Snook runs into a couple of ball players as Kreiser makes the stop along with Sean Herb. Also, Cassidy probably in on that play. And uh, Cassidy and limping a little bit out there. And it was a gain of eight. And it'll be, bring up a second down and, uh, second three. well, second three. Let's call it a gain of seven. We'll agree with that. Second and three, however, so Trojans got to dig in tough. Here comes Snook trying to spin off the left side. Gets ahead for probably the first down as he runs into a pile of Trojans at the 15-yard line. Snook again, the ball carrier. They'll mark it about the 15, right on the 15. And it's another first down for the Indians. Oh, the Indians regaining the threatening mood that they had here just a little bit ago. 7.35 remaining in the third. And uh, first and 10, now they're on the upper dolphin 14, he says. Just uh, about on the 15, somewhere around there. Clark will hand it off, coming over this way and running right into Jared Kreiser. Goes the runner. This time, uh, not much gain on that play. Might have gotten him one out of it. It'll be second down and nine. Ball's handed off to number 12, Jason. Second and nine. Pitch back over here for Snook. Snook leading some, or uh, trailing behind some blocking, gets it down to the 10, where it'll bring up a third down and five. Tripped up by number 41. Kreiser. Good stop in there by Kreiser again. And uh, boy, Greg Cassidy is going to limp off, and I mean, Greg is limping. There's no Brings question about it. Five. Got himself a bad wheel out there. And Greg's going to take a break. He has played tough and played hard tonight for the Trojans. And he'll get himself a break now as he is suffering from some kind of a leg problem. Anyway, on a big third and five. Handoff is to Snook over the left side. And uh, he dives down to about the seven. It'll be short of the first down. It'll bring up a fourth down and about two. Fourth and two from the seven. So... Uh, they put the beefers back in here again as uh, Danny Wirtz or Danny uh, Kerwin returns to the lineup along with Brent Bell in there in the center of that Trojan lineup. And uh, we're going to have a field goal attempt, and this kid can kick. If the Trojans don't block it, he'll put her through. Need a bad snap here. Good snap. Placement's down. Kick is up. Kick is 
Good. It is good. A 23-yard field goal for the uh, Juniata Indians, and they break a scoreless deadlock here with 5.29 remaining. And that kid can kick, no question about it. It's 3-0, Juniata, with 5.29 remaining in third. Plenty of time remaining. The Trojans, however, have got to get the offense going on the next possession, and they'll be back trying to do just exactly that in one moment. Okay, we're set for the uh, kickoff now as Kyder and Lenker go back deep to receive for UDA. And here it goes. Good kick. Going to be taken over there by uh, Bobby Kyder. Kyder streaking up the middle of the field. Look out. Bob still on his feet and tackled at the 45-yard line. Excellent run back by Bobby Kyder. All right. Bob's trying to get the offense going. And he has run it back to the 44 an excellent run back by Kyder, and so the Trojans will put it in play once again in excellent field position, and Danny Shell will be looking to get a little bit of offense going this time. Now let's see what we can do with it. <clears throat> Kerwin is the uh, center in there now for UDA, and following the blocking goes uh, Kyder, I believe it was, or was it Maori? I'm not sure. Wait till we unpile him here. Now that was uh, Mike Mowry. No, Bobby Kiter, I beg your pardon. Kiter gets Sorry, himself maybe a yard, a very Kiter. short one. And it will be second down and uh, for all intents and purposes, 10. <clears throat> Trojans will flank out a pair on the right side, the far side of the field this time. On a second down and uh, 10. Here comes Shell, looking to pass. Now he's going to roll over to the right side. Dumps one over the middle. It is in or caught over here by number 24, who steals the ball away, and he's going to be knocked out of bounds in front of the Trojan bench. And we've got uh, a pileup over here now. Marshall. 24 Marshall picks off the football for the Juniata Indians. And that's going to give Juniata the football at the 40-yard line. And so it'll be first and 10 for the Indians right there. Trojan tempers beginning to flare just a little bit. I think you're going to see some good tackling in here now if we get a chance. Here is uh, 24 up the middle. A lot of yardage. And into the Trojan secondary he goes for the first down as he drives it down to the 20 six yard line it's a first down and we've got a man injured on the play and this time it will be Bobby Kiter down for the Trojans and Bobby getting up slowly but he's going to be okay I think he might have injured a leg not sure yep Charlie horse maybe or got kicked in the calf and uh, Mike Wirtz medical trainer extraordinaire out there to administer to Bobby and uh, Look at Mike looking. He's smiling over here looking at the camera. That Mike will do anything to get TV time. And uh, <laughs> anyway, first and 10 for the Indians when we come back. And they're threatening once again. The Indians are on the Trojan 25. Clark pitches it back over there. And Snook bumps into a couple of uh, his own ball players, as well as several Trojans. Come up and make the stop. Jared Kreiser getting up... Uh, or uh, rather, uh, Charles Zerby, I should say, coming up there to help make the stop on that play. Gain of uh, three. It'll be second and seven. Ball now at the 20, uh, let's check it here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 23 yard line. Gain of really two, second and eight, should call it. Ball at the 23. <clears throat> Handoff and 24 picks his way ahead for a yard or so. Dives into the pile out there. Got about two more maybe. Down to the uh, 20. <clears throat> Picked up three, I guess. Call it third down and about six. And we've got another fella down this time on the play. It's going to be number 80, Kim Ladenschlager. And I think Kim's going to be okay as... Uh, Mike Wirtz comes in again to check him over. And another timeout with 3.07 remaining here in the third. 3-0, the Indians of Juniata. In the series, this is the 12th game. In the prior 11 games, the Trojans have won six, lost four, and they did tie one. 
And so tonight, the Juniata Indians trying to get a little closer to evening up, uh, evening up that record as they've got a 3 nothing lead on the Trojans, and the Trojans have uh, a quarter and three minutes and seven seconds to get some offense into the ball game. In the meantime, uh, Kim Ladenschlager is going to march off, but he's going to be okay. Mike Wirtz will attend to that. And so we'll be setting the ball back third in play now, third and five. Ball at about the 20, and this will be a big one. They got that long-legged kicker in there. He's already got three for them. Clark hands it off, up the middle goes Snook. Snook down to about the 17-yard line. And uh, that'll be short of the first down. It'll bring up a fourth down and uh, about, where is it, a first down? Now, wait a minute. It's not as short as I thought. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, fourth. Fourth down and about one. <clears throat> Fog really creeping in here at the ballpark, and you can see the huddle steaming out there. Here's a hand up on a fourth and one, and he's got the one as he struggles down to the 12-yard line. Number 24, Mitchell in there. Number 24, Doug Marshall. Or Marshall, rather. And he's got the first down as he drives it to the 11, I guess we'll call it. And it'll be, no, well, around the 12. First and 10 from about the 12-yard line. Ball rests on the upper Dolphin 12-yard line. The Trojans getting themselves into desperate straights now if these guys score again here. Up the middle goes number 27. He dives across the 10 to maybe the 9. Or 37 it was. And uh, anyway, 37 gain of a one. couple of yards. It'll bring up a second down and... Uh, seven perhaps the field markings down at this end of the field just a little bit tough to uh, really visualize where they are exactly but looks like the ball's at about the nine so it'll be a third and uh, seven gain a three on the last play <clears throat> Clark still has the football fires it into the end zone we got a man out there and it is caught for the touchdown First pass, complete to number 33, Mel Hench, touchdown Indians. And that'll make the score 9-0 with a minute and 8 seconds remaining here in the third period. Nice pass that time uh, over the defensive fellows back there and uh, kid made the catch. And Weitzel will attempt the PAT. He's the kid with the that can kick, and we'll see how he makes out here. If the snap's good, it's almost a sure one. He hits the snap. His goodness blocked. Well, that's interesting. Trojans need some offense, though. You Score, Junior nine. Can't win Up by keeping them from scoring extra points. So we got to get an offense in here, and uh, let's see what we can do. Plenty of time. A whole period, plus a minute and eight seconds remaining here in the third. Again, we will be back in just a moment. Weitzel will kick it off for the Indians now following their touchdown, first touchdown of the ball game. And here it comes, and it's going to be kicked into the fog over there and taken by uh, Bobby Kiter. Bobby had a good run back last time, picking his way upfield, and this time not going to be quite as successful as he was the last time. Does get it out to the 35-yard line, however. And it'll be first and 10 for the Trojans from the uh, UDA 35. Kiter brings the ball out to his own 34-yard line where he's brought down by number 33, Mel Hench. Actually, they do spot it a little bit short of the 35. At the 34, I guess. <clears throat> well, the Trojans going to have to do something now. It's not quite panic time yet, but they need to score on this series. Shell looking, dumping it over the middle. It's complete to Lenker, and Lenker drives it ahead to the 43-yard line. It'll be close to the first down, probably picked up nine on the play. They'll bring up a second down and one. Good pass that time from Danny to uh, Dennis Lanker. Pick up nine on the play, brings up second down and one. Got 20 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. And the Trojans need to get a good march going now. <clears throat> Let's see if we can keep her up. 
Clock down to nine seconds. They will get this playoff. This will be the last one of the third. Back to pass goes Shell again. He's getting a big rush, and he is going to be struggled down as the bell goes or the whistle goes to end the third quarter. And that time, Dan, not a whole lot of uh, protection as there is two uh, Juniata Indians rushing him pretty quickly back there. And that's going to bring up a third down. Oh, wait a minute, there was, must have been a penalty or something on the play. Uh, and it might be, let's see. Or are they just marking the field for the quarter, I guess? All right. Just marking it for the quarter. That ended the third quarter. And uh, score at the end of three now is 9-0. The uh, Juniata Indians. Trojans will have it on a third and uh, plenty. Okay, the final 12 minutes of play now finds the Trojans on the uh, 32 on a third and 12. And Sean Herb in there at quarterback now for the Trojans. He'll fire one over the middle. It is going to be intercepted out there as it's picked off by number 24, and he runs ahead here. Finally dumped down by Richie Kerwin, but 24 with the interception of the Sean Herb pass. As Sean comes into the ball game, and his first uh, play is not auspicious, to say the least. Uh, not taking anything away from Sean. He comes in there and uh, throws a pass, however, and it's picked off by Marshall. So... The Indians pretty much in control now as they got the ball back at the Trojan um, 35, I guess it is. Um, yeah, I think it's around the Trojan 35 or 34. I guess around the 34-yard line. Anyway, it's first and 10 now for the Indians. Here's a handoff to Marshall. He goes ahead for six or seven yards as he drives it down to the 20 seven yard line off to number 24, Doug Marshall. and uh, that'll be enough for a seven it'll be second down and three. Second and three for the uh, Indians oh wait a minute way to hold everything everybody going off sides here and whatever happening so it's going to bring up a second down and uh, about eight now as I think it was the Juniata Indians who jumped off sides. Illegal procedure against Juniata. Illegal procedure. And Juniata. that'll spot the ball back at the 32 yard line. Um, bring up a second and eight. UD cannot lose its concentration out there now on the defense. Got to play some defense here. Still have 11 minutes and five seconds to play. Here's the pitch to. Uh, Snook, and a good stop made in there by several Trojans. Large pitch, number 23, Corey Snook. Brings up third down. Some of these guys are so dirty, it's getting a little more difficult to see the numbers up here now. But uh, anyway, Here's a handoff going up the middle is that uh, number 24 again, and that's that Marshall. And uh, he's got himself uh, enough for the first down, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, it is. First down at the 22-yard line, I guess it is. So first and 10, Juniata. First and 10. And there goes number 37 up the middle for several more yards as he gets down near the 17-yard line. Gain of about four on that play, or maybe five. We'll see where they spot it. In fact, he gained uh, about seven. It'll be second down and uh, call a second and three. Pickup brings up a second down and four. Or maybe four. Yeah, I guess second and four would be better. Second and four, picked up six on the play. And um, I'll put it in play right now from there, so. Pitch back over here for Snook. Snook runs it down inside the 10 to about the eight. It'll be first and goal for the Juniat Indians at about the Trojan eight. Corey Snook. First and goal from the, or from the uh, Trojan eight. Handoff is to 24. He's down to the five-yard line. Gained uh, about three. It'll be second and goal from about the five. 
Bottom of the Trojan pile in there, number 41, Kreiser. Number 19, Clark hands off the ball. Second and goal from the five for the uh, Indians. Here's the pitch back over here for Snook, and Snook is grabbed from behind that time on a good tackle. Trojan coming up there making the stop. Danny Shell, one of them, but uh, the fellow on the bottom of the pile there that made the initial hit was number 72, Godoweski. So it's Jeff coming up there and making Snook. a good stop that time for the Trojans. Ball just inside the five-yard line. will bring up a third down and uh, goal from... About down by 41. About the five, you might as Jerry well say. Kaiser. It's about a foot inside the five. Third down, goal from there. Handoff is to 24, and he will not get the first down, and I'm sure they're going to call upon the kicker to come in there and kick an another field goal, I would think. We'll see. Ball 15 is uh, standing down here. I don't know if they're going to call him or not, Stop or will they try to go for the uh, touchdown? They may. Quarterback out here, uh, Clark, trying to figure out what they're going to do, and I guess they're going to go for it for a touchdown. Ball at about the four. So it'll be fourth and goal from the four. Handoff, no, quarterback's got it, passes it into the end zone, touchdown. It is complete as number 33 picks that pass practically off the grass, I believe. Heck of a catch that time by that number, number 33. 39. And uh, heck of a catch. Anyway, that gives the uh, Indians now a 15-0 uh, uh, lead. And uh, Pennebaker, I think it is, or Weitzel rather, will come in and attempt the point after. And timeout called here now momentarily. I don't know what's amiss here. Oh, Trojans are going to call a timeout. As Coach Hain is going to come onto the field, or no, I'm not sure. Oh, Coach is going to try to wonder what happened. It looks like one of the officials may have called that as a no-catch, and they're going to, he's going to ask the official if, for clarification here. The ball was awfully close to the ground when the young fellow caught it, but uh, couldn't tell from here whether he caught it or not. He's going to confer. After the conference, uh, let's see, will the play stand? I think not. I think they're going to rule that it was not a catch. The official's going to come over here and talk to the coach on the sidelines here, and uh, Coach Klingensmith is being explained that uh, there was no catch. Of course, the Juniata Indians uh, do not agree with that call, but the uh, linesman on the far side of the field in the end zone ruled no catch after the pass was made, and they're going to say that it was no catch. So rather than going for an extra point, it will be the Trojans football first and ten on the four-yard line. Coach, of course, very irate at the call, and uh, you can't hardly blame him. And the uh, referee explaining it now to uh, Clark what had happened. I don't believe the, the uh, television will show what happened, but at any rate, the Trojans are lining it up out here, and um, it will be Upper Dolphins' ball. So the Trojans uh, now looking at a... 9 nothing deficit. Uh, if they can get any kind of offense going here, now would be the chance because they've got one tremendous uh, break. Probably a very accurate call, but you couldn't really tell too much from here. Here's Danny Shell in timeout call now. And um, I think we're going to have timeout called by the Indian. So uh, we'll be right back after the Juniata timeout. All right, the Juniata timeout is over as uh, Danny Shell back at quarterback for UDA will put it in play from the four yard line. Danny's going to go back. He dumps one over in the far side, tipped up in the air, and is it intercepted? It might have been. It was. It was intended for Jeff Miller, and uh, the interception made by number 12, Jason Warner. And uh, he's a happy uh, camper right now as he gets the ball back for the Juniata Indians immediately on the interception. And uh, the ball at the 20, uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, about about the 23-yard line, I guess. First and 10, official timeout. And uh, so the ball turns around immediately to Juniata. And the Indians uh, even more determined than ever, I guess, now following the one called back. Here comes uh, the pass over the middle 
It is incomplete, intended out there for number 39, Weitzel. Number 19, Scott Clark. But uh, number 39, John Weitzel. it does not uh, go as a completion, that's for sure. And it'll be second and 10. Second and 10 from the 24. Handoff is to number 24, and he is tackled almost immediately as both uh, Kerwin and Richie Kerwin and uh, number 62, Thor Keck, coming up to make the Ball stop for UDA. And a gain of two on the flight will be third and uh, right eight. Now, okay, a third and eight now for the Indians. Pitch back over here now for this number 23, Snook. He's got somebody pursuing him, and uh, somebody happens to be Kim Ladenschlager. Kim comes up, makes the stop on Snook, and that's going to bring number up a fourth Snook. down right now, and right. about uh, eight. Kim Ladenschlager. And uh, let's see if they're going to put the kicker into the ball game now. This kid in uh, practice could really Four kick, eight, and uh, I don't believe they will. I think they're going to run a play. It's a fourth and eight, the ball at the 22-yard line. And the Indians will go for it on a fourth and eight. I thought they'd let the kid kick a field goal. 44 in motion over on the right side. QB, still got it, rolling around the right side. And now he is tipped up in the air. The ball goes loose over the far side, out of play. But uh, it'll be UDA ball, first and 10 for the Trojans. Clark. First and 10 UDA from the 17 as the Trojans get their last gasp effort here. Here's a pass over in the near side. Here it is complete to Denny Lenker. And Denny thrown out of bounds. Not the ball, but Denny at about the 22-yard uh, line. Gain of about five on the play. It'll be second down and five. Clock moving relentlessly on now against the Trojans. Down to five minutes and 10 seconds. Left in the ball game. Trojans getting shut out up here at uh, Juniata. Nine nothing. And we'll see what they can do as they've got now uh, under five minutes to play. Shell going back to pass again. Fires one over the middle. This time it is inter oh, in and out of the hands of uh, Clark out here, who nearly picked it off. He'll bring up a third down and. Broken up on the play by number four. 19, Scott Clark. Third down and maybe four or five. Hard to tell from here. Anyway, Shell's going to try it again. He's looking. He's firing one down the left side this time. There's a lot of people out there. The ball tipped around. Ooh, tipped that time. Had Richie Kerwin been able to go back and grab that one, he would have had no one between him and the end zone. But it uh, goes to an incompletion. He threw it into a pile. There was about five players out there. Three red-shirted players and two white-shirted players. And uh, it was knocked it down for an incompletion. It'll be fourth and... Uh, guy calls it fourth and five. Can't hardly believe that. Uh, you call it. Looks more like fourth and four. Unless that sticks in the middle and it's bowed. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Trojan set it up on a big fourth down and five. Uh, Kreiser back to kick the way it would appear. And he gets an excellent snap. And on the little uh, fakeroo around the left side over there goes the Trojans. And this is uh, Mike Maury. And Mike is hit. Ball comes loose. But, uh, or was it? No, it wasn't Mike. It was uh, Bobby Kiter, I believe. And Kiter runs it out of bounds after he does Kreiser gain the first down. So Kreiser with the handoff. Later. On the little uh, fakeroo, okay, and um, Dolphin, Trojans down. put it in play now with uh, four minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the ball game. 40. So Trojans get a new life out at the 32. Handoff. This time it's going to be. Uh, let's see. Is that? Oh, I'm not sure now. Look like. Either Bobby, uh, Steve Yeager, maybe. That's uh, no, uh, Denny Lanker. All right, Denny, you're cruising around the left side. Got a first down out of that. Out to the 43 yard line. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Trojans on their own 43. And timeout momentarily called, as I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Uh, let's see. Time out, Cole. We might have a problem with the clock. The official's going to come over here and say 5.35 should, or 
Five more seconds, okay. They need five more seconds on the clock, which will give the Trojans 408 instead of 403. It'll be 408 instead of 403. And so it'll be uh, first and 10 as they will delay the start of the clock five seconds to get this playoff. Juniata fans getting a bit irate over here at the officiating, uh, officiating but hey, it's at your field, folks. All right, here we go. On a first and 10. Again, Lanker with the handoff. They're going to come around this way. This might not work out too badly. Jeff Miller has it, but I don't know if Jeff, no. Jeff is going to be spun down out here for a large loss, a few yards uh, that time. As they're going to get it all the way back to the 33-yard line, something like that. Loss of about seven or eight on the play, and it'll bring up a second down and about 15. Loss on the play brings up second and 16 for Upper Dolphin. The Trojan offense just spinning and sputtering. Back to pass goes Shell. Passes one over to the far side. It is complete this time. Richie Kerwin's got it. Rich drives it down to the 50-yard line. Rich taking exception to something that occurred over there on the tackle. Rich gets up and mentions uh, something to somebody. And uh, let's see. Nice gain on the play. Gained about uh, 14 yards on that play, but it'll bring up a third and two. Un inside of three minutes to play now. And there we go. Shell hands it off. Over on the left side goes uh, Lenker again, and Denny gets a first down as he's bumped out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. And uh, stop the clock with three or 248 remaining here in the ball game. And the ball at the 45-yard line of uh, Juniata. Sean Herb checks into the ball game now at the quarterback spot for the Trojans. Sean in for one play and uh, threw an interception on his first try. So we're going to hope now that Sean can get a couple of passes complete in here. Now Herb generally likes to find Jeff Miller if he can. And time called now as I think the Trojans may have taken too much time. And uh, we'll find out in just a moment. Well, now we have another problem with the clock. No, offsides against Juniata. Offsides, Juniata. Juniata offside. So I'll give the Trojans a first and five. Move the ball down to the 30, uh, to the 40 yard line, rather. So it's first and five now from the Juniata 40 with two minutes and 25 seconds remaining. So can the Trojans get one here and then an onside kick? I mean, I'm always looking positive here. So let's see what happens. Motion this side comes. Uh, Kerwin. Back to Pasco. Sean Herb. Sean firing one deep. He's got a man down here, but it's the wrong colored uniform he's got on. It's number 12. And he's going to catch it in the end zone for a touchback. And it will be Juniata's football at about the one. So for Sean Herb not having a good evening as he goes two for two in the interception department. But anyway, the Trojans really, I guess, weren't going to get on the board anyway. So with 2.07 remaining, we've got a 9 nothing score in Juniata has the ball at their own two. Is there a discussion on the play? No, they're just waiting for a football. Okay, first and 10, Juniata on their own two. So for all uh, guesses here, looks as though the Trojans will take their record to uh, three and four and face some formidable opposition coming up here in the next couple of weeks. Juniata in the other hand will go three or pardon me, four and three. So they'll better their record and the Trojans will drop behind 500 again. Timeout called by the Trojans. Not much gain on that play, maybe a yard or two. About two will be second down and eight. And uh, we'll be right back after this Trojan timeout with a minute, 46 seconds remaining. Think about two on the play. Okay, the Trojan timeout is over as Clark sets him up on a second down and eight. Handoff, they're going up the middle with it this time for several yards out to nearly the 10 yard line. Goes uh, Snook and timeout called again by the Trojans with a minute 38 remaining. And it'll bring up a third down and about uh, three. And so the Trojans hope to get the ball back with a little time left. 
And uh, we'll be back after this uh, second and possibly last Trojan timeout. Now they may have they may have another one. I'm not sure. They've spent two here in the last two plays, and we'll see when we come back. Okay, a big uh, third down and two. Trojans spending a couple of timeouts and hoping to catch them back here. And here comes Snook, and yeah, the timeouts didn't work because Snook has got the first down, and that'll do it as he drives it out to the 20-yard line. First down for the Juniata Indians, and the Trojans had just better regroup for next week's home ball game against these Newport Buffaloes, and the Newport Buffaloes will not be an easy task. The Trojan defense, again, not playing bad tonight, giving up a field goal, about a 20 or 13-yard field goal, something like that, or a 23-yard field goal, perhaps it was. And then the uh, touchdown drive, they blocked the extra point, made it 9-0, but they have not played that badly on uh, defense. It's the offense that is uh, really hurting out here, and... Um, on the next play here, there's a gain of uh, maybe a yard or so, not much. Marshall making the uh, run. Gain two, second down and eight. Clock down to 50 seconds right now. And uh, that's uh, time for about a play or two. As Juniata puts a couple of subs into the ball game. Clock up in the upper right-hand corner, counting down now to 40 seconds and so forth. Oh, this possibly would be the last play, or perhaps one more. Anyway... Trojans um, need to uh, get ready, prepare themselves for next week's game. Flag is thrown as there may have been a clip out here on the Trojans, and we'll see. I believe it might have been. I'm not sure. Won't call it prematurely. At any rate, they're going to march it off against UDA. And um, that'll bring the ball out to the 45-yard line. And a personal foul will be called against, no, not against that team. Personal foul, he motioned against the uh, Juniata, but uh, of course that wasn't it. It was a personal foul against the Trojans. And uh, playing right out in front of us with 20 seconds remaining on the clock. And the Indians not in any uh, particular hurry out here as they've played a good hard-nosed defensive game against the Trojans, that's for sure. And both teams, uh, you know, deserving maybe a better fate. Defense is playing well. Offense is uh, on both teams. Uh, running against some very tough defense. And that'll do it every time. As the final horn goes off, it's...